Hello, in this video, we will be solving this problem. a cube plus a squared is equal to 80. We know by inspection that 80 is 16 into 5. 16 is nothing but 4 squared. So you have got something like a squared. So we proceed in that line and check. Okay. So a cube plus a squared is 80. Let's say this is equation 1. This is a given equation. Okay. So 80 should be expressed in the form of something raised to power 3 plus same thing raised to power 2. Okay. 80. So here because we have this a cube plus a squared no. So something raised to power 3 plus the same thing raised to power 2. We will just try it out. Um, 80 can be thought of to be 16 into 5. 16 is 4 squared. So it is something like 4 squared means something like this. Okay, We will just try that. 16 into 5. 16 is 4 squared. 5 can be written as 4 plus 1. Then when you expand this, you will get 4 cube plus 4 squared. As we wanted it, you are getting it. Okay. So you can express 80 like this. So the given equation is a cube plus a squared is equal to 4 cube plus 4 squared. Now this 4 cube, you can take it to left side. You will have a cube minus 4 cube. You can use uh, a cube minus b cube formula to factorize. Similarly, this 4 squared, you know, when you take it to this side, you will have a square minus 4 square. That means a square minus b square formula. So that is a cube minus 4 cube plus a squared minus 4 squared is equal to 0. But remember the formula for a cube minus b cube. a minus b, a squared plus a b plus b squared very easy formula, common formula, everyone, everyone knows it. So remember that we are going to use it here. Therefore here you know this a cube minus 4 cube, apply the formula a cube minus b cube. So a minus 4 into a square plus 4a plus 16. For the first two terms here. Then similarly for this a minus 4 into a plus 4 into a plus 4 equated to 0. Again you can see a minus 4 here and a minus 4 here. So you can pull it out. You factor it out and then a square plus 4 a plus 16 plus a plus 4 a plus equal to 0. Now you can see there is 4a, there is a, that makes it 5a, 16 and 4, that makes it 20 into a square 5a plus 20 is equal to 0. What is known as zero product property? What is known as zero product property? So a minus 4 should be 0 or a square plus 5a plus 20 should be 0 or both to make the product 0. 0 product property. This is known as 0 product property. What is known as 0 product property? a minus 4 0, a square plus 4a plus 4, sorry, a square plus 5a plus 20 equal to 0. Because the product is 0, you can call this as 0 product property. So we make use of it. So first you take a minus 4, 0, which is giving you a is equal to 4. So one solution we got. That of course you could have easily guessed it from this. a cube plus a square is 4 cube plus 4 square means one solution is a equal to 4. But now we proceeded formally and we got this. Okay, a is equal to 4. Then the second factor, no, a square plus 5a plus 20 is equal to 0 here. That we have to check out. Use 
quadratic formula i just give quadratic formula here minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a right good now apply this for this okay so a is square plus 5a plus 20 is equal to 0 quadratic formula says minus b therefore minus 5 plus or minus root of b square that is 5 square 25 minus 4ac that is minus 20 divided by 2 simplify further now you look at this you have got square root of minus 55 that means the roots are not real roots are complex anyhow we will find it out so what has been done here this 55 that is this minus 55 is written as 55 into minus 1 minus 1 is i squared so here i square is minus 1 this is i square ok so I will write it better i square is minus 1 so root 55 into minus 1 so root 55 into i square that i square can be taken out now as I have written here 55 into minus 1 because minus 55 is there for this minus 1 you know you can write i square i square can be taken outside and it will become i ok so the complex roots are minus 5 plus or minus root of i into square root of 55 divided by 2 two roots are there you know for this so one root is minus 5 plus i root 55 by 2 the other root is this i split up and right and the other root is by 2 i again you can split and write so we have got three solutions out of which one is real a is equal to 4 is real the other two are complex this one and this one so three solutions are possible we have obtained all the three solutions okay thank you